Hi, I'm Debbie from the rock band 10 Year Vamp. Being in a rock band isn't always that exciting, going from bar to bar, club to club, but we meet a lot of cool and interesting people during our travels, and I want to see what you do. I want to walk in your shoes. It's your turn to be in the spotlight, and for the next 10 minutes, you're the star. So it's a Sunday, the first Sunday in October, and yesterday uh, we had a really cool day. We um, played uh, Apple Stock with Good Charlotte and One Republic. There's something way too exciting. Your mind is making suggestions. It's making you push it. It's making you push it. And my picture's taken with the Madden boys. Played to a few thousand people. Had a real blast. Man, my Converse were spink spanking purple. They were great. And um, today we're doing something very different. Uh, we have come to Connecticut to go to a Renaissance fair. So we're here in uh, Connecticut with our very good friend Lloyd, who has invited us to be part of something that he enjoys doing. And I'm pretty confident that I'm going to enjoy because I checked it out online. It looks like a friggin' blast. At the Renaissance Fair, ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd. Hello. Lloyd, everyone. Um, so we're here, and Lloyd's going to be our tour guide. How long have you been involved with uh, Renaissance festivals? Um, it's going on 10 years now. Yeah. I, uh, the last five, I've been helping out vendors. And uh, I just really enjoy uh, coming and enjoying uh, the atmosphere, the friends, the community. And That's about that. Kind of working here do you stroll around do you stay in one place do you interact with people just the the other workers when, I, when i'm working i usually um usually stay in whatever booth i'm at and i um attempt to bring patrons in to spend their money on the wares of whoever i happen to be working for and if i'm working for the nice people they let me go, go and uh wander a little uh, wander a little cool on occasion that's cool. Is there any? Oh, I notice sometimes when you guys interact with each other, you use certain like words and stuff. Is there any any words or language that you could teach me? Like, do you call each other sirs and madams, or like, how do you say like cool? That's neat, or like you know any sort of phrases? Uh, huzzah is a really good one. Huzzah. Something, something good has happened. Huzzah. Huzzah. This is what I like to call a mistake eraser on a stick. Quite handy in several situations. Now, this beautiful lady has graced you with her presence yeah. and she has no rose. I do believe that's a mistake right there. That can be easily fixed with a mistake eraser on a stick. You haven't made any mistakes recently, good sir, but you on the other hand <laughs> need at least two roses. <laughs> For a first time, Ray. Oh, oh, Lloyd, you got the little black thing. That's probably the best shot all day. That was great, man. Wow. That's hot, dude. So we got the famous turkey leg right here. And I'm going to rip into it right now. What do you want? Very good. This is great. They just sold us at like Yankees games and stuff. Scoop popcorn. 
We just wanted to meet you because we noticed how amazing his face was oh, and you said you. that you had done it for him. I've been painting him for years and years. I've, yeah? We've got a system down now. Gotcha. It's a little different every time. It is. Uh, Hi, you are? I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you, Miss Debbie. Thank you. Welcome to your very first. Yes, That's it is. adorable. <laughs> what do we need to do to her in the woods for that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear. I'm, I'm coming back. I can't look at it though as I eat it. Interesting choice. Thank you, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> the thing with the Queen of Swords is that she's a seeker after truth. She really is. She's someone who may not live the most comfortable or easy life because she likes to kind of see beneath the surface of things, pick things apart, cut things apart, pull things apart until she understands how they work. Um, usually when someone picks this card, they're looking for some details so that they can analyze their situation and put it back together the way they want it. But the sword is, of course, a weapon, so she fights a lot of battles in life. My grandfather told me how to show <laughs> and play poker when I was four. This is good. The opening cut is a kind of a reality check, really. It's like stuff that are, already exists in your life. So it should have some meaning to you as I go through them. Here we have the King of Swords, okay? As the Queen of Swords, you may have a kindred spirit here. Because the sword cards are very left brain, very battle-oriented, they're not always the most congenial, squishy, you know, down-home kind of couple, but they are intellectual sparring partners. This would be someone whose basic joy in life is to solve problems. He's a technical expert. He could be a geek. Um, lots of fun to drink with. A little bit difficult to get close to, but that's okay. You could live a parallel track and be very happy. Page of Pentacles is literally a person on the threshold of finding the key to something. Picture your six-year-old learning to read. Once they master that, the door is open in life. This is the key that unlocks the door. This is the little bit of knowledge or experience. Not a whole lot. It's not your PhD. It's just getting your foot in the door so that you can begin to learn or you can begin to lay the ground. This card covers you and it re represents what's surrounding you at the moment. Hard work. We're not especially great rates of pay, but you're learning to take something in stride. It's like doing the same thing over and over again so that you can almost do it in your sleep. Is somebody telling you what to say behind me? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not looking in here. I'm, I'm channeling your stuff. <laughs> This is the third time this girl's done this. He doesn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know why? No. She just keeps doing it to him. She does. Do you know why, really? No, I don't know why. Do you know her? I do. And that's what she, what she does? That's what she does. Wow. I have some fans like that, too. <laughs> Red. No, it's not a puppet. <laughs> it's, it's animatronic. It's a robot. See? Don't be rat touching. I'm not really a big on rats. <laughs> hey. The bloody thing threw me off. <laughs> thought he was a mean rat. <laughs> Turns out he's not. Hey. Oh, you've had worse in your mouth. You're right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh friend, wonderful kind, friend, oh friend, soon you'll be mine. I'll see you later, 
friend, oh friend. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my teeny tiny little red booties, they've had better days. Hey Lloyd, do you think you could just take that off for me? I think it's, I think it's a goner. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, lately I've been working on something original. I wanted to be able to show you guys something that you just couldn't see anywhere else. So I have a few tricks for you right now on the trapeze, in the stilts. Would you like to see them? Say yeah. Yeah. All right, shucks. I was really hoping you'd say that. All right, trick number one. It doesn't always work. So if I could just get all of you to collectively just uh, cross your fingers for me. Yeah! Trick number one, here goes. Wita! Witchy! Wah! Oh! Go for it! Oh! There you go, climb fast, kid. Don't make me wait. I got you, keep coming. Keep coming. There you, whoa, whoa. There you go, watch for my toes, good. Two more runs. One more run. Wow. Give me one more. Stop. Give me that. Now get down. <laughs> yes. My right arm is getting awfully tired. I have a right arm. You do? I do. Uh huh. You want to use it? I do. Hey, we wrote that ourselves. Isn't it cute? <laughs> among other things, is that I haven't worn a dress on on camera ever. It's always sneakers and jeans, and the first time I wear a dress, it's a dress that makes me look hippie. And I don't have big hips, Lloyd. And if I were to have picked out my own dress, maybe bought one or had it custom made, my hips would have looked great. And this just didn't, didn't do it for me. I'll take a pickle. <laughs> How big is the large? I'm sure I've had bigger. <laughs> Not as girthy, but uh, I can handle the big one, yeah. Handle the big one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. It's really for my friend Mark. <laughs> I wouldn't need a pickle on film. Are you a warrior? Or like, is there a job that? You're not really. I usually end up being uh, like a woodsman. Yeah, a woodsman's good. Fun, fun axes. Today he's a bodyguard, though. I've uh, I've been known to do that also. <laughs> usually at our shows. <laughs> We just finished our day here at the uh, Connecticut Renaissance Fair and uh, Lloyd was our tour guide and we had a great time. He did an amazing job showing us around. We got to meet a bunch of really great people. We got to really sub submerse ourselves in the fair and just in the culture and the costumes and the people and the food. Even the weather really was nice. It was a little chilly but other than that, um, we had a great time. Thank you so much for inviting us, for, for showing us around and taking the time and just being so kind and introducing us to your friends. Um, really can't thank you enough. Thanks for coming back. Weekend, right? <laughs> Check it for the jiggle. Yeah. <laughs>